Hello. I want to talk about equality and some of the views of equality or egalitarianism. Uh, egalitarianism, let's define what egalitarianism is. Egalitarianism is the the belief that or the theory that every that in general many people and groups as a whole have equal capacity for greatness whether it be intellectual capacity whether it be athletic capacity whether it be artistic capacity it is a general rule that most people have equal capacity for greatness on what on many levels um, to many people on the far right, that is a threat. That that is a very dangerous idea because they believe that people are not equal. People are not equal in ability. They are innately different in ability. There's different levels of ability based upon biological imperatives. And for the left to say to 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 hold on to this theory is a pre at least a precursor to Marxism because it may not be necessarily capitalist but in non-Marxist economic systems there is a there are all hierarchies the ones who have the most talent the most intellect are on the top and the ones who have the lowest intellect and the lowest talent are on the bottom and this is based upon genetic imperative um, has nothing to do with effort. Doesn't have a, a little bit to do with effort, but mostly based upon who you are. Cut and dry. It's between races. It's within races. And the story. Egalitarianism is Marxism. To a to somebody from the right, from a white nationalist, egalitarianism spells Marxism because talent is based upon genes. The whites of South Africa dominated South Africa because, not because they cheated or they oppressed the blacks, it's because they were smarter and they deserved the wealth. Because they were smarter, they were more talented, they were the ones who created the society. So to a white nationalist, they side with the white South African because they do not view him as the oppressor. They view him as probably the creator, the, the sustainer of South African society. They view this South African as the uh, contributor, the major contributor to South African society. They envisioned the roads, they envisioned the political systems, they envisioned the legal systems. So therefore those whites should have more money, they should live in the, in the best neighborhoods, and the blacks should live in the poorest neighborhoods because they contributed less to that society. Yes, they may have built the roads, but they did not plan and design those roads. So therefore, what apartheid was to a white nationalist is absolutely justified. No question. Segregation was to protect, not to destroy the black race, but to protect the white race. That's how the white nationalists view. hierarchical non-Marxist economic systems because I know that some white nationalists are against capitalism but they are not for any system that says everybody has equal capacity that there is no such thing as hierarchy there's no such thing as class there's no such thing as economic levels they think it's absolute hogwash absolute crap they hate it they believe that those who are more talented even if they don't have to work hard for it because of what they are genetically deserve to be on the top of society. The ones who can, there are smarter, smarter doesn't matter if they work hard or not. It doesn't matter. It's what they produce. The only thing that matters to many white nationals or white power groups is who's producing. If you don't produce, we don't want you on the top. If you're not producing the highest, we don't want you on the top. And they believe that the left, the 
the left it will is with affirmative action with quotas towards blacks is having people having blacks that are not producing producing compared to the whites and the whites are being left out that is cut and dry the reason why they view egalitarianism as Marxism I hope you understand have a nice day